I love to watch science fiction movies, but I cringe. I cringe whenever I see a depiction of the aliens. First of all, the aliens speak perfect English. Not just British English, they speak perfect American English. And obviously, they're a human inside some kind of monkey suit. I mean, we have Hollywood special effects, right? So why can't we get better aliens? And then the aliens think just like us. They're territorial. They want to conquer. They want resources. They, want, they see humans as inferior. But you see, that's only a byproduct of our evolution. Look at other animals in the animal kingdom. Some animals are not territorial, okay? They don't have to conquer. We have other paradigms in the animal kingdom which are totally different from the way our brain is constructed. But when we look at aliens in the movies, we're basically projecting our own consciousness in aliens. Our fears, our desires are projected and they are a mirror of who we are, not a mirror of who they really are. For example, if you take a look at a bat or a dog, the dog's brain is mainly interested in smells. It's swirling in a universe of smells, while a bat's brain mainly is concentrated on sonar, on detecting clicks and echoes. Same thing with the dolphin brain. Their consciousness is totally different from our consciousness because they see things differently than us because of their evolutionary history. For example, when we see a cat and the cat comes up to us and starts to purr next to us, we say to ourselves, oh, nice cat. Cat is being affectionate. No, the cat is not being affectionate. It's simply rubbing his hormones on you and saying, I own this human. This human is mine. I'm marking my territory. This, hu this human feeds me twice a day. I've trained him. So a cat sees the universe totally different than we do, and yet we impose our thinking on an alien. Now, on the question of intelligence, if these aliens are more intelligent than us, how would they be more intelligent? In the book, I say that one of the main ingredients of intelligence is to predict the future. The ability to simulate today so we see tomorrow. And that requires a high level of intelligence to be able to understand the laws of nature, the laws of people, what is the most likely outcome of a future event. That requires intelligence. If they are more intelligent than us, they will see the future much better than us. They will see outcomes that we cannot foresee. They will simulate scenarios that we cannot even dream of. They can outwit us every time. Think of a safe cracker. A safe cracker may have a low IQ, may have dropped out of elementary school, but the safe cracker can simulate the future much better than a cop can, and that's why he can rob banks and get away with it. And so in other words, the criminal mind is not necessarily stupid because it has low IQ. It's quite well adapted for what it does. And what it does is to simulate the future of a crime. Now think of what, when we encounter intelligent life that is more intelligent than us. They may see the world totally differently. Their world may be a world of smells, a world of sounds, rather than a world of eyesight, like our brain is constructed. And most important, they may be able to see the outcome of future events much better than us. They'll be able to actually run circles around us because they see the future. Now, some people say that we should not try to make contact with them because they could be potentially dangerous. Danger, Will Robinson! Danger! For the most part, I think they're going to be peaceful because they'll be thousands of years ahead of us, but we cannot take the chance. So I personally believe that we should not try to advertise our existence to alien life in outer space because of the fact that we don't know their intentions. Then the other question is, what happens if they're evil? Well, I think the question of evil is actually a relative question because the real danger to a deer in the forest is not the hunter with a gigantic rifle. He's not the main danger to a deer in the forest. The main danger to a deer in the forest is the developer. 
the guy that's going to pave the forest and perhaps destroy whole ecosystems. In other words, the aliens don't have to be evil in order to be dangerous to us. They might not care. They just might not care about us and in the process, pave us over. And so I think that is a potential problem. We could be in the way of a very advanced civilization that simply is not evil, but simply views us as we would view squirrels and deer in the forest. So personally, I think that we should not advertise our existence when we go into outer space. For the most part, however, I do think they are going to be peaceful. They're not going to want to plunder the Earth because there are plenty of planets out there that have nobody on them that they can plunder at will without having to worry about restive natives called humanity. And so I think they're not going to come to visit the Earth to plunder us, to do all sorts of mischief. For the most part, I think they'll just leave us alone. <laughs>